joined by Hofstra head coach Speedy Claxton, Tyler Thomas, and D Stone Dubar. Coach, just your yeah, overall thoughts. great team ever, man. Amazing win for us to go to and all. I mean, that's a tough, um, I understand. We battle all games. Everyone who stepped on the court is ready to fight. And I'm really proud of my guys, and especially these two. And they stepped up in a, in a big way. Because, you know, when they started having an off night, we needed other guys to step up, and these guys did that. Uh, other than these two kids, quickly comment on Nelson as well. Oh, kind Nelson, he battles. I mean, you know, Nelly, Junior Joseph, he's the best big in the MAC. And Nelson, mm -hmm. you know, he, he battles him, man. Without him, we don't win this game. Coach. Uh, when Iona was on that 9-0 run and then you guys had the timeout, what did you tell your team in that huddle that kind of broke it, broke out of it? I mean, I, I told them to keep fighting. Um, stay with it. Um, this is our game. Uh, we came too far to let this one go. And then I think that's when Tyler came down and hit, hit that big shot in the three. And we didn't look back from then. Tyler, how did you feel throughout the night? You had a pretty uh, great performance all over. Uh, you know, I felt pretty confident. My teammates believed in me. My coach believed in me. So, you know, I got to step up and make some shots. Coach, that's the most animated we've really ever seen you on the sidelines. You were playing defense on the other end at one point. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much did the game mean to you? Uh, I meant a lot. You know, my boss, Rick Cole, wanted to get that win, so we had to go out there and get it for him. Um, but, you know, any win is huge. And we wanted to come out and win this first home game. Uh, we wanted to, you know, make sure that we gave the fans something to come back for. So DJ Quan Carlos gives you seven assists after he had the big gut bucket against Princeton on Monday night. What can you say about his evolution and his maturation? Oh, man, he, well, he, he, he's turned the corner for us. Um, you know, he had a slow freshman year stuff, but JC is one of our better players. He knows exactly what we're trying to do on offense and defense. And, you know, he's, he's, he, he's the key, man. He holds us together. Tyler, you hit some really tough shots down the stretch. How are you feeling down the stretch for your team? Uh, you know, I was trying to stay as confident, you know, just play off the ball, uh, off A, off uh, JC's penetration, and, you know, shot clock winding down. I always have confidence to be the guy one on one. That's what you do. <laughs> Offensively, did you guys go into the game with the game plan of taking a ton of threes? What did you see with Iona that made you think you could exploit that? Um, they over help a lot, or they help a lot, and relocation shots were there, and I was working on that the last three days. Be open for my guys and you know, hopefully make some shots. Speedy, what's these uh, late game execution the last two games? What's it touch about coach about these guys that you might not have known just in a practice setting? They're big game players. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, those are shots that they're used to making and taking. Um, we practice those shots every day in practice. So mm -hmm. um, they're not they're not scared at all. Um, these guys they're gonna rise to the occasion. Speedy, you had said that uh, Aaron had a bit of an off night. What do you attribute, it, attribute that to? Was it something that he wasn't doing or something they were doing to him? You know, I mean, you know, the game, obviously that game plan was to stop him. They put their best defender on him. Um, you know, he's very athletic, um, you know, good, good size. So that's going to, you know, you play against uh, a guy that's taller than you and that's like, but it's, it's hard to score. I know that personally. It's good, <laughs> so, um, you know, but other guys stepped up. And we're going we gonna to need that from, from guys. That's, people are going to try to key in on Aaron every night. Coach, you guys uh, hit two threes on a lot of the game. Is that uh, how do you think that went for you guys? And uh, is that something you guys could go back to? It went great. Didn't say anything else. You mentioned a little bit earlier, but Nelson, his impact not only defensively but offensively on the short roll, finding guys. You set up Tyler, I think, on a couple threes with good passes. Um, what did you? Yeah, that kid is a blessing, man. He is a very, very, very high IQ guy, and <clears throat> when you. When, when our guards draw so much attention and they're going to get double team and triple team and all that, and to find, be able to find a big and that big be able to make a play is huge for us. That's really going to make our offense click. Coach, first 2 0 start since the 2017 2018 season. How does it feel and where do you guys go from here? It feels amazing. Um, but, you know, we got to enjoy this one tonight and we got to start getting to work um, on George Washington tomorrow. Speedy, just to expand on that 2 0. What does it say to have two character building wins this early in the season the way you put it? It's huge. Um, you know, all these all the all of our non conference games seem to be fifty fifty games, so um, to get off to a two and zero start, uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah, first. Uh, you gotta ask my man D Stone a question, man. He's not just saying <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. Show him some love, man. The guy had twenty two points. <laughs> Tyler D Stone, uh, 
you know, a lot of teams are playing, you know, kind of cupcake teams that early on. You guys had a real test here at Princeton, obviously today, Iona. What does this do for you guys confidence-wise to pass both these tests early on? I mean, it was a great overall game. My confidence just went up at the auto shots I just made, so I'm just going to continue to keep playing like that. Um, you know, be up 2-0, you know, it's a great feeling. Uh, everyone works hard on this team, so we didn't come in here expecting to lose to anybody. Even our biggest opponents, we don't come here to lose. We, everyone works hard, so um, we expect to win, not, you know, not to come in here like, oh, we might win, we might lose. That's not the mindset. Tyler and Easton, what do you guys think about the crowd, the atmosphere, local rivalry, getting in that, that fire you guys up? Man, that was the best crowd I ever played in for college basketball. It's great atmosphere. I mean, the energy was amazing. And you know, we just fed off of it. So, great crowd. Yeah, it was a great crowd. It was a electric crowd, you know, big shots. They were screaming, <laughs> disrupting people's uh, free throws. It was great. You're talking about the crowd. Oh, the crowd was amazing. Um, you know, it should be like this. Like I told you. You know, I told everybody at the bonfire last night, you know, our guys are going to feed off that energy. And if they bring that energy every game, we're going to be good. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. All right.